doubt about it, Dolly Parton is a survivor. After 40 years in the music and film business, she's still at the top of her game. Upon turning 60 in 2006, she scored an Oscar nomination for the theme song she wrote and performed for the movie Transamerica. She also wrote all the songs for a Broadway musical version of the 1980 comedy that netted her first Oscar nod, Nine to Five. She rounded off the year by winning a Lifetime Achievement Award at a gala event at the John F. Kennedy Center. She accepted the tribute with all the exuberance and good humor that has come to characterize her for over four decades in the spotlight. Yeah, I love it all. I hope to be working till the day I die. And hopefully that ain't going to be anytime soon. She's written nearly 600 songs, released countless albums, and starred in a swag of big and small screen comedies, as well as bringing employment and tourism to her native Tennessee through the creation of her Dollywood theme park. I mean, she's such a, an inspiration to, to me and, and lots of other women in music because she, you know, she's done it all and, and she really plowed the way for us to do what we love to do. And she's still doing it and people still love her just as much as they did before. So. But it hasn't all been a fairy tale ride for the fourth of 12 children who grew up in a dilapidated one room cabin in the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> The story goes that Dolly's parents were so poor they couldn't afford to buy her a winter coat. Instead, her mother stitched together a coat from a box of rags. Although Dolly couldn't wait to show her new multicolored coat off at school, she ended up getting teased for being poor. Despite the huge success that followed her move to Nashville at the age of 20, Dolly's flamboyant style and uniquely curvaceous figure have continued to draw ridicule throughout her career. But whether or not it was a tough start in life that helped thicken her hide, Dolly has become a master at shrugging off the jibes and joining in on the jokes. She was once quoted as saying, I look just like the girls next door, if you happen to live next to an amusement park.